We're out here for some fall fun, and yes, you guessed it, Amazing Grace Farms, and it's great to welcome back Kelly Mosley. Great to see you again this year, and hey, 10th year already, but a brand new location. Yes, we are super excited. Um, last year we were a little worried about where we were going to move, and so we're super excited to be at this new location this year um, between Middleburg and Keystone here in Clay County. Yeah, it's right off State Road 21. I felt like it was easy to find you. You have the signs and the, with the signs showing where Amazing Grace Farms is, and you've got the pumpkins out in one of my favorite spots to take pictures, and that's what a lot of folks do. They want those perfect fall pictures, and we've got that here. Oh, absolutely. We have lots of photo ops. Our green truck and our red truck is back. We have um, our new covered bridge we have just different places around the farm that everybody can get those instagrammable pictures that they <laughs> love to have sounds good well we've got wonderful uh, land out here and you just have spruced this up so nicely and it's just got like a beautiful fresh fall feel so let's take a closer look at that covered bridge you ready sounds great well, look what we found out here at Amazing Grace Farms. There's a reason they call it Amazing Grace. A covered bridge in Florida? <laughs> this is amazing. So it's out like, like out of a fall storybook. And if you're looking for some fun, tell us first of all, uh, Kelly, how this came about. I'm amazed. So this was my husband's vision. Like he wanted to have this covered bridge over this little creek. And so him and his team, they worked really hard this summer to um, bring that vision to life. And I think it just turned out really great. And when you walk over it, there's little clickly cat, just like <laughs> I remember up in New England with the covered bridges up there that I love visiting. So this is another place that I would snap some of those selfies and family pictures. What do you think? Yes, we've already seen um, from our opening weekend. We've seen plenty of these pictures on Instagram <laughs> and social media for sure. Very good. Well, another big popular item that's been a popular item for years is the animals. Oh, yes. We got goats. Yes, we of course we have goats. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's go. <laughs> And Kelly, there are kids around the area that have grown up with these beautiful animals here. So I guess we've got Dolly and is that Jolene? That was the baby last that year, right? That was the baby last year. Um, she was born last September, so she was just a month old during our season last year. And so she is a year old and um, we are so excited to have Dolly and Jolene out here at the farm for the children to enjoy along with their goat friends I, over there I see behind the, them. Yeah, the goat's right there. So what, what's the cute one on the far end? What is his name? We don't I, we don't have a name for them, actually. <laughs> we just call them goats. And can the kids, what do the kids? white goats. <laughs> do we feed the, the animals so the kids can feed them or what do they do with the goats? Um, they usually just admire them and okay. talk about how cute they are. and. Um, you know, sometimes well, look at this can, guy. Look, yeah, yeah, he's pretty friendly. To, he's got plenty of food back absolutely, there already. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, good to see you. These are the real goats. So, and, <laughs> and we've got Jolene and Dolly. And so, kids, come on out. You've got the fun animals you can uh, see. And, of course, uh, we've got to do some more fun stuff. In fact, we've got the hula, hula hoop animals over there, right? Yes, the hula hoop animals. Uh, we added them last year, and they were a big hit. Yes, I think uh, Jordan did really well, but I needed practice. We'll see, yes, if, I get in, yes. see if I've got any better. <laughs> Here it is. We're here out here, Kelly, and this is the hula, animal hula hoops. And last year I couldn't hit a barn door with this thing. Are See you, how you do this year. Are you told me it's just all on the wrist. Come on, let's get. Oh, oh man, that almost. Was close. Okay, I've gotten better, but. Uh, just a lot of fun out here, not just the hula hoops. What else have we got going on? So we have our gaga ball pit. We have our barnyard ball zone um, that we love to see the families out there trying to, to see who is the best at the barnyard ball zone. <laughs> and we can't forget about the jump pad and the tug of war and the corn crib. Okay, that corn crib was quite a hit. So you had like kids like Hawk Hogan in there. So oh, tell us yeah, more about the that. The kids, they love the corn crib. Our corn cribs have about five tons of corn in there that they just love to go in there and play and we just see um, corn all over the farm where they're they have it in their socks and shoes on the way out having Man. so much fun yeah this place is making me feel like a kid again but it's working up an appetite here for me so let's talk food okay so this year on the farm um, we don't have our full concession stand but on Saturdays we have several food trucks that'll be joining us but on both Fridays and Saturdays we still have our awesome funnel cakes our kettle corn mm. our snow cones our bold peanuts lemonade and sweet tea so even if you're out here working up an appetite trying to hit those hula hoop cows we still have plenty of snacks for you sounds scrumptious all right one more try come on nice oh watch that oh goodness <laughs> a little rambunctious there but a uh, lot of fun out here and Kelly, let's check out more of this beautiful how about one of the favorites the corn maze i'm ready okay okay let's go check it out 
Talk about a crop maze here, Kelly. This takes the prize. I've never seen anything so quite like this. Tell us what we're looking at here and how long did it take to grow something yeah, like this? So my husband, he plants the crop maze in July and they uh, it usually gets cut around the first or second week of August. And this year, our design is celebrating 10 years of fall fun. Um, because we're just super excited about being able to have our 10th year and it's about five acres and there is a kitty maze that families can go in if they want a shorter easier experience or then there is actually a longer harder maze that they can go through both in this field right here Ooh, i think they needed the drone to find me last year i was getting <laughs> lost last year this one may be a little more challenging i mean we got some really tall sorghum here yep it definitely grew taller than last year's sorghum this soil is a little bit different than our previous farm and so i think that's why it's grown taller this year okay and after you conquer the maze uh don't forget you can find that perfect pumpkin out here at amazing yep. grace we, don't forget to get your pumpkins on the way out mm -hmm. and over at the pumpkin patch um, and definitely take your pictures with the beautiful pumpkins that we have around in our fall photo ops awesome well so much to do we've gone over so many activities so how can my family or families come out and enjoy this beauty so everybody should visit our website which is agcropmaze.com and they can come out on fridays from 5 10 to 10 p.m. and then Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We're also open on October 17th which is a planning day for all the surrounding school districts and so but families need to make sure that they get their tickets prior to visiting online that's different from years past mm -hmm. so make sure that you go online and get your tickets prior to visiting because we don't sell tickets at the farm this year. Okay that's huge okay so we'll get the tickets for beforehand and then come on out and enjoy this beautiful maze and of course uh, Kelly thank you so much for your wonderful fall hospitality. Yes we're <laughs> excited for yeah. families to come out. Yes, if you're looking for that fall spirit, we have it out here. And of course, you can catch more on this on our website, firstcoastliving.net. But wait, Jordan, are you okay? I, I haven't seen her, Kelly. Jordan!